follow our ways anymore, man. We can't turn, we can't, we can't decide to do what we want to do and think that we're going to live by doing that, man. You understand? Black people got to be known for being righteous, man. We got to beat the odds, man. Right now, we're not beating the odds. And we got to know to be righteous, just like the Kung, just like the Chinese are being known for Kung Fu. But don't worry about that. Now they're going to be known for coronavirus. And just like, hey, look, and just like Africans, you think that their land is the motherland, they're going to be known to stink. They're going to be known with flies, with, with flies in their pockets and flies in their back pockets. You understand? That's what Africans is going to be known for. And black people got to be known for being righteous, man. We got to know for be, being known for being wise, man. No sweat. And there's a black man that's going to name by Christ that's going to be known for slaughtering you devils, man. Don't worry about that. There's going to be a black man named Christ that's going to be known for relieving black cities and Hispanics out of oppression. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. There's going to be a black man being known, you understand, when he come back and bring judgment upon this earth, man. Drop that. We're going to get out some more, man. We got a lot more. We got a lot more, man. Give me uh, 1 John 5 and 3. No, no, no. Give me Romans 13 and 10. We're going to bring out some more, man. Because these commandments, man, they're not grievous, man. Someone love to your brother. That's not, that's not nothing wrong, man. Blacks and Hispanics coming together, a Puerto Rican and a Mexican coming together, damn right, brother, come get you a fly, man. Come get you a fly, you're gonna need it, man. We give a damn about our brothers and our sisters, man. Blacks and Latinos coming together, ooh we, ooh we. That's an issue for America. Black people coming together with Hispanic people, coming back with our brothers and sisters, that's gonna be something to deal with right there. That's gonna be something that, that the world is gonna be remembered for. Blacks and Latinos that are brothers and sisters, man, that give a damn about each other, man. We just send for the same people, man. You understand? Give me Romans 13 and 10. It's Romans chapter 13 and 10. What work is no ill to his neighbor? And understand this. Y'all my neighbors, man. Hispanics is my neighbors. Y'all my brothers and sisters. Blacks, natives, and Hispanics. Y'all my brothers and sisters. We descend from Jacob, man. You don't understand that this Bible is going to tell you where you come from. This 12 child chart right here, you understand? You look on the left hand side, that's your progenitor, man. This is your forefathers right here, man. This is your land right here, man. We own this land, man. Hispanics and Native American Indians own this land. You have to be on the same page on who stole it from us. Who runs the earth? We got to be against that and be for this Bible that's telling us that you are, we are one people. That black cities and Hispanics, we brothers and sisters, man. That's what the significance of this book is right here, man. You understand? Grab your flyer, man. We're going to need this, man. Grab your flyer. Absolutely. Free. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Uh -huh. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love is the fulfilling of the law. This law is telling me that you my brother, that you my sister. That's what this law is telling me. This law is telling me that we want people and we have to come up against the evils that are, in the, that are amongst this earth, man. We got to speak on the Hispanics that are in the cages drinking out of toilet water right now. Don't we got to speak on those? You understand? We got to speak on how ICE is raiding our neighborhoods and kicking Hispanics out of the, out of the nation that they built and telling them that they took their jobs. What jobs did they take when they were here first? When y'all were here first, what jobs did they take? What jobs did they take when we the ones that put their fruits and their vegetables for five cents a day? And y'all still take us because we ain't got no green card? You understand? We were here first, and we should have told this oppressor, damn right, and we should have told this oppressor, where's your green card? We should have told them where's their green card. We was here first. You understand? We got to understand and come back to the truth of this Bible, man. You understand? Read on. Read it from the top. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Uh -huh. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And don't get it confused. This ain't no hate speech. We bringing out the things that plague our neighborhoods, man. One of the things that plague us is not understanding. This ain't racism. You understand? Excuse me, like, this ain't, this is not uh, uh, hate speech, man. This is love. The, love, the, the Lord said love. Go ahead. You got a question? Let, uh, let me tell you something. I mean, uh -huh. I'm not a believer. I'm not a religious man. But I Neither am I. I. I do respect every kind of people. And I do get inspired by some, by some phrase that someone from uh, all of your cultures said, yeah. I have a dream. And I still believe in that dream. And someday we will be living in an entire country for peace for everyone. No sweat. Now let me tell you this, man. Uh, that, that person that you're saying I had a dream, you're referring to Martin Luther King, right? 
But let me, uh, let me let me bring out something. I want you to listen carefully and not and just and just listen to everything I gotta say first. You understand? Martin Luther King's dream, black citizens and Hispanics, we live the reality of that nightmare that he had. Let me tell you how it was a nightmare. You understand? Because Martin Luther King's dream were for one day little black boys, little Hispanic boys, to hold hands with our oppressor, the, the children of the slave masters that took your land. His dream was nothing but a wet dream. Martin Luther King pissed in the bed when he had that dream. You understand? But Commander Jenny Ahana and the priest and prophets of the Lord, man, you understand? We have a vision that only the Bible speaks of. Martin Luther King didn't want black senators and Hispanics to join. He wanted us to join our oppressor because he was a weak man. Hold on, the brother got something to say. What's your name, What's your name, brother? Edgar. Edgar? Nice to meet you, Edgar. What you gotta, what you gotta understand is that, you know, when Martin Luther King had that dream, you gotta understand how many black people at the time have, have businesses and they lost their business to uh, the white man. And Latinos lost their business to the white man. When the white man came here first, like, uh, like, um, Native American Indians, Native Americans and Latinos were here first. And now what they did is make treaties and they broke every treaty. Whatever hundred, th whatever hundred treaties they, they made, they broke with y'all. They broke with y'all. They broke with you. What you gotta understand is the peace is not gonna come until the villain is gone. And what you got, what you got to understand is the same, the same, the same oppressor that killed the Native American Indians and the Latinos is in the in 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 Negroes. Peace is not going to come until that oppressor is gone. We already, we already, we already tried for 400 years. Listen, how many treaties did the American, the Native American Indian man make with the white man to be at peace with him? Listen, the reason why you said that is because you are a man full of compassion. Latinos and black people are the most people, and Native American Indians. We have the most compassion, so we want love and peace for the whole world and for everybody. But unfortunately, there's one people who will not have, not have it so, and that, and that, and that, is, the, that is the oppressor. We share an oppressor, and that oppressor has to be confined and bound, and bound up. And the Bible, and according to the Bible, that oppressor is going to be confined and bound up, man. Once we come back to the, once we come back to the laws. Then what we gotta understand is this is not a religious book. You were right. You said I'm not a believer. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a religious man. The religion means to divide and conquer. You should not have a religion. That's right. But we should follow. The, we should have a holy structure. And this is the holy structure, man. That's right. Whereas though I'm not gonna kill you. Whereas though the, whereas though God say God says stick with your people, right? And, right. and 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 this is what we don't think, this is what we don't understand. And the reason why a peaceable a peaceable people like me and you, the reason why we conquer. It's because we, we try to be peaceful with everyone when the other person does not have the same love in their heart. There's that same love in their heart. The white man will never have that love in, their, in his heart for anyone. You see what he's doing over there in the Middle East trying to steal their oil, right? And their gas, right? He, that person is a vile animal and a beast. He is below he is below a human. He is not a human. All right? You understand? I'm sorry. All right, Edgar. It was good to see you, man. I think, thanks, thanks for the support. All right, sis. All right, brother. All right? Listen, you, it's, it's, he all good, but listen, Martin Luther King, that is wrong. He, he tried, he, what, he, what he tried to say, it destroyed the black community. It just, it's not going to work. Yeah, but I, I can't talk you about what he said. That injustice anywhere. Go ahead and pull it. The German ass word. Can damage injustice everywhere. Say again. I heard once that he said that injustice anywhere can damage But this is what you got to say about Martin Luther King. Go back and, and YouTube Martin Luther King, right? After he gave that speech, this is what he said about black people. He said, I, I fear that I put my people into a burning house. What does that mean? The burning house is where I, I did a speech and I want my people to, I want my people to be together and everybody to, to come together, but I put my people into a burning house, meaning that dream would never happen. America is the burning house. Where's the, where's the, we trying to have peace for 400 years. And then look, he did, a, he did a speech 60 years ago. Look, listen, it's 2020. He did that 50 to 60 years ago. Look at look at the conditions of Latinos and blacks now. It's still the same. Racism, racism has, has not died. So what we gotta do is stop talking that peace thing. I'm not telling you to pick up a gun, because we're not gonna pick up guns. What we gotta do is identify the enemy, identify the person who's gonna harm you, and stay away from that person, alright? Go ahead, Barack.